Today we're installing two closet made closet systems. One big closet, one little closet. Grab your little cam locks, hammer them in where they fit. There's only a certain places they'll fit. And you're gonna grab your cam posts, screw them at the top of all the boards, and then screw the bottom ones at the height you want the bottom shelf to be at. I did eight up. Snap the cams in place. Tighten them down with a Phillips head screwdriver to lock them in place. Grab your little white triangles. Make sure the white side is facing the front of the shelf. Grab your bag of nails. Nail all your nails in. Do this for both pieces. Grab your bottom nut that'll go on the bottom half of the shelf. Hammer all four in. And then grab your leveling feet and screw them in to all four. Flip the bottom back upright. Grab your wood dowels. You're gonna put them in the four corners. Tap them in, a little tap and tap with the little hammer. Ta-da! For this one, I had to cut out pieces of the bottom shelf so it would sit flush against the wall and slide over the baseboards. So I marked them. I grabbed my laminate cutting blade from my jigsaw, put a little tape on there to keep it from scratching. It's gonna go in this corner. So that piece is gonna go against the wall and that little piece is gonna be cut out to go against the back piece of the baseboard. Ta-da! Then you're gonna grab your jigsaw. The video is sped up, but go slow. Slow and steady wins the race. Make sure you don't cut your cable, or your leg, or your finger. And I'm gonna cut the whole side off if it's gonna sit against the side of the baseboard. There you go, it sits flush in the corner. I'm gonna put a couple screws with a couple drywall anchors. And here's the design the customer provided me. Each closet is slightly different. They gave me measurements of where they wanted the shelf to live, how far they want between the rods. So I marked it with blue tape to show where I was going to start with the bottom base, made sure it was level using the leveling feet we placed earlier. Then you're going to grab your little wall anchors, your L brackets. You're going to put your L bracket in the top right and top left corners. You're going to make a little mark with a pin or a pencil. See a little dot. Time for a quick sandwich. Thanks to the customer. You're going to drill a small hole in the wall. Tap in your wall anchors. Grab your L brackets and your wall screws, one on each side. Screw the L bracket into the wall anchor. You're gonna grab your small little screw and screw the side of the L bracket into the side of the shelf on both sides. Then you're gonna grab the top shelf Line it up with the dowel rods we hammered in earlier. Apply a little pressure from the top. Make sure everything's nice and snug. You're gonna do the same thing with your L brackets wall screws. Connect it. Grab it, make sure everything's nice and tight. Then you're gonna grab your little smiley face closet rod bracket holder things. Tape them in place where you want them. Make a little mark in the top center with a pin. This is gonna show you where to mark for two wall anchors. You're gonna drill a hole, hammer your wall anchors in. For the bracket that goes on the side of the shelf, you just use these screws provided. Then you have a satisfactory click when you put the bar in place. Look, it looks like a little smile. Uh -huh. The small closet, the rods were too wide, so I had to cut it down with a jigsaw, drill a little hole in, clip it in place. Ta-da! Got the full shelf in the big closet. Customer wanted an extra shelf and provided these brackets. Added that shelf. 
The small closet doesn't require any additional shelves. You can see the little wall anchor screw I hid in the bottom. Ooh, face. Okay, thanks. Bye.